Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make some belly bands, but first let's have our shout out to Rebecca, Christine, Doreen, Spoily Girl, Dukes243, Tammy, Dawn, and Carolyn. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have a piece of printed cardstock here, and what I'd like to do is go ahead and cut this down to two inches long. So I'm just going to eyeball it here, not eyeball it, I'm actually going to mark it. And let's see about getting this done. So there we go. And let's just trim this just like this. Billy bands are awesome to use in your junk journals. I love to put one or two in each journal that I make. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this down right here. I don't want mine to be large. I want a small one. Put this aside here. There we go. Now it is a small little belly bin. I'm just going to ink around the edge and this happens to be gathered twigs. So there we are. And I thought maybe we could take some printed paper and just kind of tear. I'm not going to tear a real big piece because my belly band's not that large, but I think it would be pretty to use a piece of torn paper on here. I'm going to get my Humbug glue, and I'm just going to put some glue down. Just put it on just like that. Before I trim it, I'm going to go ahead and bring in another piece. How about this one right here? I'm just using the corner, and I'm just tearing a little bit from the corner, and then putting it down like that. Oh, I think that's pretty already. So I'm going to ink that part up. I'm going to put my glue down and get it positioned right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim our excess paper off just like that. And let's start decorating. Oops, upside down. I do need to ink right where I torn. Now, isn't that beautiful already? I just think that is so pretty. Oh my. Okay, so I have some different things here. I've got some chapter one pieces. That's kind of different there. Uh, let's see what else do we have. We have some small postcards. That's pretty there. I do like that. I do have some little images like this that we could actually... Um, now Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Daw calls what I'm doing right here. She calls it kiss cutting, not fussy cutting. I think that's so cute. Because you're just going around the image and leaving. You're not going right up against the image. So let's see, do we like that? I think that's very pretty on there. I also have some postcards. I was going to put a pocket on here, but I can't quite find what I want for a pocket. How about if we use a label as a pocket? Now that's the right size, but I don't care for what it says there. I want it to be kind of Oh, here we go. How about something like this? And then maybe using it as a pocket. We're going to need a something else going on, too. It can't be just that. Let's see what we can come up with. All right, you guys. about some lace. Let's put some lace on here. Sometimes that just changes everything. 
get the lace on there and we can maybe see things a little differently. But if we put a little bit of lace whoops, right here. Ooh, let's see here. Okay, let's put it down below. Okay. Ooh, I let it stick out a little bit on the top. About that. How about putting it right here? I don't want to knock this over. I don't want to dry that out either. I need to put my glue gun, I need to get an extension cord because my plug-in for my glue gun is over there and it needs to be, I need to have my glue gun going this way and not that way. <laughs> Makes it too awkward for me. Is this uh Okay, let's just stick it right down there because it wants to fall off the table. That's, that's why I have that rubber mat right there that I set it on. Okay, a little bit more glue, I think, right here. Now, let's go back to the label idea because I really like that label idea. But we need something else that I'm not sure that I like that particularly. Oh, I kind of like that. Oh, those are pretty on there. These are shabby dabby doodah flowers here. And these are Tracy Fox labels. So let's see here. How about put it, look, no, because if we're going to put the flowers on here, we're going to need it, maybe something like that. So let's go ahead and just put glue on three sides. And maybe place it right there. And then go ahead and Glue the flowers down. How about at an angle? So it's not all straight across. And then I wish I had some blue ones, but I don't. I just have these colors. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I thought I was going to grab my corner rounder but I don't see where on earth it's gotten to so I'm just going to tri trim the corners off. I'll have to try to find it later and I'm going to ink around these little miniature postcards just like this. I think these came from collage.com digitalcollage.com something like that and then we're going to need some bling let's bring in some bling definitely we need some right down here where we don't have gracious, I use these scissors because this bling is so sticky that it gets all over the scissors and then it messes up my Tim Holtz scissors and I don't want to mess them up. So this inexpensive pair of scissors is okay to mess up. <laughs> How about a little piece of bling there and then let's put some more bling up above. So let's get that on there. I love belly bands in journals. I have a few that I'd like to show you that I've made that are different colors. Now, this is the one that has the, the little pocket in your belly band. But you don't have to make it with a pocket, but that's what this video is about. Now these here, they're just straight belly bands that have been decorated in the same manner of the torn down here in each corner. This one's torn, but it's kind of covered up and you can't even see. And this one's torn as well, but once again, it's hard to see that. 
You can see it better with this one being torn. This one's even kind of hard to see. You can see it torn here and you can see it torn there. When you remove it, you definitely can. Oh, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.